welcome back to my channel to like to be an ebony here and today i have for you this sleigh from the kitchen thanksgiving look very orange and golds and very fall very of the season right now very on trend on brand yes but yeah so i wanted you could do this look without the glitter liner but i'm extra so i did the glitter liner but yeah if you want to know how i got this look Keep on watching, but first, I need you to go follow me on the gram. It's too likes to be ebony. Like this channel. Go ahead, go do that. We'll wait for you. You did it. Okay, good. So after you do that, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, cause who wouldn't want to be a part of this family? Like we surf looks all day, and there's vlogs of my failing daily life like we just have everything we all encompassing on this channel so yeah make sure you join now that we are all of that out of the way we can go ahead and get to the tutorial and i'll see you guys in my next one hey guys so welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title of this video i am going to be doing a thanksgiving themed makeup you know when you want to stunt on your family in the living room around the dining room table you know while grandma making the turkey you just want to you know slay for the fam i do quite often <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and get started so um my eyes are already primed and my brows are already done so i'm gonna zoom you guys in and start on the eye look all right so we are nice and zoomed in i'm going to be working out of two palettes today um this is the alamar cosmetics reina del carib palette and this is the crown pro fuego palette so i'm gonna be working out of both of these and i'm gonna be taking um coco taxi this color right here from the alamar palette and I'm going to mix that with this light brown right here and kind of like work that in my crease for our first like transition moment or whatever. It's a real fall vibes type of look. Okay, so my next two colors will be from the Fuego palette. I'm taking this color right here and mixing it with this color on a BH 104 brush. Just to get like a deeper transition and some depth. And they kind of have some like red undertone. So like that works with the fall vibe of this look. I'm going to take this pencil brush and this really deep brown and put that in the outer V of my eye. To blend out that brown that I just put down, I'm going to take the same 104 brush with no extra product and just kind of blend the edges. And then we're going to go back in with this fluffy brush and no extra product and just blend out that crease moment. So for my lid, I'm going to be taking ColourPop's Let Me Pass Super Shock Shadow, and it's an ultra glitter. And this is really pretty fall color, like this is perfect for fall. So if you've never worked with ColourPop shadows, they're best applied with your finger. Not flicking y'all off, I promise. And I'm just going to place that on the lid here. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Do y'all see that? Like this is like my favorite color ever. But because I have nails, it's a little difficult to do this, so. I'm taking it on a flat brush because my nail is just, 
in the fucking way. I'm gonna try to take it on a flat brush. Okay, so I loaded up the brush. We're gonna put that. Oh my god, I love this color. I brush with some setting spray just to intensify it a little more. Like, if I didn't have nails, this would be a lot easier. But I'm dramatic and I like nails. <laughs> So yeah. Now we have that color built up to where we want it. I'm going to go back in with my previous brushes and just kind of intensify everything that we may have lost while packing on that color. You know, just go back in and blend everything back to its normal positioning. So, you can stop here with this look, but I'm extra. So, we're going to do something extra. <laughs> so, um, in this little cup, I have um, four glitters. And I'll show you guys. So this glitter is from Michaels and it's a craft, it's a really fine glitter um, with an extra fine glitter. And I named it white gold, but I don't know what color it is, but yeah, this is from Michaels. Then I'm using Papaya Passion from Chrissy Cindy Cosmetics. Also from Chrissy Cindy, I'm using Golden Dreams, this really pretty gold. And then I'm using from Fluttered by Row um, their spring yellow glitter. I don't know if y'all saw Papaya Passion, but it's like an orange. Yeah. So yeah, all that is mixed up here in my little cup. And of course, to put that on, I'm going to use NYX's glitter primer per use. I always use this whenever I use glitters. It's just what I use. So I place the glitter primer on the back of my hand and I'm going to take a fine liner brush. This one is by Aesthetica and it doesn't have a number. It's just by Aesthetica. It came in like an eye set thing, I guess. But yeah, so I'm just going to take this, dip it in the, uh, in the glitter glue or glitter primer or whatever. And I'm going to draw a wing on my eye. So I have my wing drawn out with the glitter primer. So I'm gonna dip this little angle brush from MAC into my glitter cup, <laughs> glitter cup, and place that where we put that um, glitter primer. So this is the top of the eye completed so far. So I'm gonna go do this eye off camera and we'll be back to finish the look. <laughs> so the top of my eyes are done. We'll get back into them later on, but we're going to move on to the base. So I'm going to start by priming my T-zone with the NYX Pore Filler Primer.
rest of my face I'm gonna take the MAC natural radiance and radiant yellow so I'm going to set down that primer with some Ben Nye banana powder Okay, while I'm letting that powder sit on my face, I'm just going to prep my lips with the Glam Glow Plump Rageous Matte Lip Treatment. Okay, so foundation today, I'll be mixing two of them. This is the Lancome Tint Dole and 460 Suede W. And this is the NYX Total Control Drop in 13 Golden. So I'll be mixing these two together on the back of my hand and applying them with a clean, damp beauty blender. So to highlight my face, I'm going to be taking LA Girl Cool Tan and the Maybelline Age Rewinds in the color Sand. So while my concealer is drying down, I'm going to further prep my lips. This is the NYX Lip Primer in the color Nude. I'm just going to place this on top of that matte lip treatment and move on to contouring. Okay, so for contour today, I'm taking the Smashbox Studio Finish Foundation in the color 4.3. And I'm taking this on a large shader brush just to control where my lines are for my contour and I'm going to contour my forehead, my cheekbones, and my nose but after I blend out the concealer. <laughs> blend out the contour with this real technique sponge and it is clean it just looks really dirty because it's really old so I'm just going to blend out all the places I contoured. to blend out my highlight I'm going to be taking a super blender from Ulta and just blending out everywhere we put that concealer Contour my nose. I'm going to take the same flat shader brush and use what foundation is left and just chisel out my little nose here. And then I'm going to blend it out with the Real Technique sponge. To set my highlighted portions of my face, I'm going to take a beauty blender, this one is damp too, and I'm going to take the Ben Nye powder and just set my highlighted areas.
Uh, so I zoomed you back in to finish up the under eye while I am baking at 350. So I'm going to take this pencil by Jante Blue. Yeah, Jante Blue in the color 903 Dark Brown. It's an eyeliner pencil. Sometimes I use it as lip liner. But anyway, I'm going to line my waterline with this. eyes lined I'm gonna go back into this brown from the fuego palette and the same pencil brush and just kind of smoke it out so for my inner corner highlight I'm gonna be taking two colors today this is the NK Makeup Perfection Highlighter and 24 Karat Golds. And this is the NYX Duo Chromatic, <laughs> Duo Chromatic uh, Luminizing Powder in the color Synthetica. I'm going to mix the both of these together on this MAC 226 brush and place that in my inner corner. And for a mascara today, I'll be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the waterproof formula. Because it's Thanksgiving, you're going to be, you know, laughing, crying, seeing family, all, I guess, I don't know. So we're going to move back into the face. I'm going to take this little fake artiste brush and um, push the powder into my face just to, you know, make sure it's really in there and everything is nice and set. Um, further knock off the powder, I'm just going to take this Aesthetica P12 brush and just go back over those areas where the powder was and kind of just clean up any excess powder. So we know Thanksgiving is a long process. You gotta meet family, you gotta stand in the kitchen, you gotta keep greeting people. You just, it's a lot. And we don't wanna be shiny, we don't wanna be oily, we don't wanna be like, oh girl, check your makeup, no. So I'm gonna set my makeup just a little further with the Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder in the color Golden Almond. And I'm gonna use the same brush we used to knock that powder off just to put a little more color into our faces and also further set the makeup so we don't have to keep running out and you know, blotting and checking to make sure I'm oily because you don't want grandma to clock your tea and be like, girl, why I look like you've been frying chicken on your damn face? Grandmas do that. Not mine though, but <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm sure there's some shady grandmas out there. Okay, so to contour my face, I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And this is a medium deep and it is a matte bronzer. And I'm going to take that on this little fake NARS brush. It says NARS, but it's fake. Trust me, it's fake. <laughs> So for blush, I'm going to be taking the Milani Powder Blush in Coral Cove. And I'm going to mix that with the NYX uh, Primal Color in the color Hot Orange on a MAC 129 brush. And, you know, I picked oranges because it's fall. I don't know. I just picked oranges just because I think they look pretty around this time.
to be like a pre-glow i'm going to take that synthetica powder again and put that on top of where we put that blush So for a highlight, I'm going to be taking two really gold highlighters. Again, that NK Perfection Makeup one in 24 karat gold. And this is by Lux Glam Cosmetics. This is in the color Cleopatra. And it's a loose highlighter. And they're pretty much the same color. But um, Cleopatra is a little, more, a little more yellow than the NK one. But... I don't, and it's a tad bit more reflective. It's really potent, so I only need a little bit. I'm going to take it on this kind of like flat brush and just go in between the two and just blow. Look at it. I'm glowing. I'm a disco ball. So for lips, I'm going to take the NYX lip liner. This is in the color Espresso. It's just like a dark brown. Like I said, you can like you could use the eyeliner we use in the waterline or you can use another lip pencil. It's really up to you. I'm just going to line my lips. And then to fill in the center, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Ashton, which is like my favorite nude at the moment. I'm in love. To top it all off, I'm going to take the Joey lip topper in the color tan lines and then to set it off because again we don't want our makeup to go anywhere i'm going to use the elf matte magic mist inset Alright guys, so that is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you slay for Thanksgiving. You know, if you eat too much turkey, that contour will cut it right out. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Help my channel grow if you really like these tutorials because I mean, come on. I'm pretty funny, you have to admit. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I'll see you in my next one.